I am a Canadian citizen, and uh, regardless of the fact that I happen to play in Boston, uh, I'm still a Canadian, and uh, when they asked me to join the team, uh, I was a little excited because I thought it would be a great experience because most of us guys are considered, well, we're all considered professionals, eh, as compared to the Russians, which, uh, who are professionals and always will be, but, um, we never get a chance to play in the Olympics or anything, and this would be as close as we would ever come. Be one of the uh, 35 players to be chosen, uh, you know, I felt was an honor. And it was a chance to uh, see Russia. I don't know if I'd come over here on my own or with my wife. And uh, it was a chance to prove that uh, I think that we had the best hockey players, or we hoped we could prove it anyway. They don't seem to have any emotion. And they're always the same all the time. And it's if you can take emotion out of something and just do it like a machine, you're going to do it probably far better. I think that's what's wrong with our Canadians. We get ourselves up too much in certain games. You just you're over, uh, you're, you're too high, and you don't perform the way you should, or uh, then you might be too tight. But they just seem they they just they do the same things all the time. And I think this is this is a part of their training. I have never been so emotional and so charged up in my life as I have been in this series. All of you, at one time or another, unjustly criticized the professional player for playing only for money. And I told you that this series would show and prove the character and integrity of the uh, Canadian professional hockey player. They are probably uh, as dirty as, as anything, uh, any team I've ever played against. Uh, in our country, ice hockey is just a game.